from Hall to well done real fast. They really want to get out of that car. That burger is definitely well done now. Oh no. And the kill switch is on the car. That burger is cooked, I think, Patrick. That oh, might be yeah. it. They overcook it. I think they're done. I can smell it from here. That does not smell like good old Charles burgers right there. That is that is done. Someone oh, left it. Smokes. Someone left it on the barbecue for way too long. Nope. That is a charcoal brick at this point. Good job on the track marshals, everybody. Round of applause for the burger. Yeah. Oh, Hematite now into the tire wall. Hematite, where are you going, buddy? You lost? Careful there. Careful, Hematite. You're in third place. That's right, three minutes to the last driver change, three minutes to the last driver change. By the way, Leland Stitch has been holding second place, and right now they are poised to keep it. But they still have to finish. Hematite, though, has not been falling too much further back. If Foo Bar can just hold on for a little bit longer, he'll secure first place, but second all the way down is still up for grabs. Team Rapid Charge, the Lego car and the Burger car, have been really class acts all weekend. They've been doing an excellent job. They've built very crazy contractions, and they've done their best to get them on the track for as much as possible. They've certainly made interesting machines, and to keep them learning, it takes a really strong and dedicated picture, and I'm very, I'm very impressed. It looks like what they cobbled together. The Ducks trying to exit pit lane right now. It's getting a push. Oh, it's it's sand crawler! Sand crawler holding up traffic here, and they're back, 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 back underway there. Walking maker space, still no power. Nope, on that nope, car. nope. They went, they, they, they traveled half the length of pit lane before having to be pushed back, which means. The Mario Kart from Puppet Station 1 might be able to take 5th place from them. Duck, which was once in 2nd, falling down now, down to 7th. Patrick, it, is, it has been a hot weekend. This is the hottest weekend we've had in about two seasons of power racing. Last time it was this hot on the track was about Detroit 2014. Another scorcher weekend. Oh, Duct Tape and Zip Ties found the tire wall. Where is Duct Tape currently? We're right in the back stretch there. Well, no, I mean uh, position oh, wise. Position wise, <laughs> isn't it? I can see them in the back stretch, not that big. Well, in fact, Duct Tape and Zip Ties are fighting right now the 555 timer. That's the battle right now. That is the seventh and eighth place. Seventh and eighth right now, the timer versus Kansas City. Oh, and speaking of which, the very go. Go. time I asked to pull into the pits for some reason. So Kansas City is taking the position. Moving up to seven. That is seventh place for Kansas City, your hometown heroes. While the 5 by 5 timers have pulled in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven now cars into pit lane. Patrick, Flavor Ice is coming back out. Flavor Ice is coming out. out. The Mario's card going back in. Oh, it's wow. all over the place. Flavor Ice is back underway, ladies and gentlemen. They are currently in 10th place, and they have a lot of laps to make 30 up. 30 seconds to mandatory driver change, 30 seconds to driver change. That might be perfectly timed for Flavor Ice. Well, it's oh, only the wall there. It's the new how to drive. Yeah, I gotta know how to drive, bro. <laughs> you gotta get that down. But that's a good strategy for them. They'll have clean track to put a couple Ten laps Ten seconds to the last driver change. This is the last one. Everyone has to pit, whether you're in pit lane now or not. I don't know what happened with Flavor Ice. It looked like a DNF, but there's nothing out there. Everybody's got a pit. Everybody's got a pit. Final driver change. Final, Final driver, driver change. change. This is it. If you just joined us, this is the Power Racing Series, under $500 racing series, and this is the big ending race of the weekend, a 75-minute endurance race. Yeah, we're not kidding, an actual 75-minute race with these tiny pint science cars. And right now, Leo Stitch is pitting, and they're only getting, they're putting on a lay. That was their strategy right now, they put on a lay. Rapid Charge is now also in the pitch of the Lego car, and it looks like the Flavor Ice car just did a stop and go to pull in for their pit strategy. Battery change right now for Hematite, and sand crawlers are being pushed out. They're getting out ahead of Habitat, which is important. Fubo Labs, their leader, the green machine from New Jersey, is now also pulling out. All they have to do, ladies and gentlemen, that green machine just has to be slow and steady. 
They are very far ahead, but as we've seen before, anything can happen. So many cars have broken today. The only car that hasn't is Fubar Labs, and that's your leader right now. Second place has been all over the map, if you've just joined us. We thought it was going to be the sand crawler flavor ice, but both those cars had very terminal illnesses that knocked them out for at least 15 to 20 minutes each. And Sandcrawler has spent the last 15 years on its way back through position, currently in fifth place. Flavor Ice has a much deeper field to go through. Flavor Ice is in 10th place and can probably make up 5 to 6 positions if everything goes well for them. The Mario Kart, if they can make up three more spots, they can take the, uh, knock the duck down from 5th to 6th. Right now, 3rd place, Hematite versus Sandcrawler. That's going to be a very real battle, Patrick. There's Hematite there. There's the Sandcrawler there. That will be a battle in a few laps. So with the last few minutes of this race remaining, we are now 13 minutes until the conclusion of this endurance race. The endurance race in the Power Racing Series is our little tiny 24 hour Le Mans. And instead of 24 hours, 75 minutes. It's just as bad on these under $500 racing machines as it would be on a multi-million dollar race car. Everything is scaled down in this series. Instead of Formula One, we are Formula oh, One. Oh no, Fubar now with the very first time some sort of problem. Oh no, there's no throttle on Fubar. No, 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 no throttle whatsoever. Car Fubar, the leader, oh, he's got no. some sort of issue. We don't know what it is, but the leader now, now even the leader has had trouble. Lilo and Stitch has a lot of laps to catch up for the leader, but Fubar has to be underway to finish. Fubar put a lot of laps down. Is it enough to hold on? They're having to change out some sort of something. I don't know, Patrick. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. The leader for this entire race since lap one is now has a trouble. I'm not sure what it is. It looked like it might be a quick fix. The power of the controller guy. Unbelievable. The power of the motor controller runs on a different voltage, so they have a different battery pack for it. Yeah, I don't know what they're, they're looking to get some gaffer tape. It looks like the controller is powered by a drill battery, but it's not staying in. It's like they're duct taping it together, ladies and gentlemen. They're using tape to hold the car together, to hold the power to it. And the lamps are dwindling down, but they do have a pretty big cushion. Lilo and Stitch really has to put down the pedal, though. Yeah, they, they got to pick up the pace. Really pick up the pace. They have to drive the race of their life. And Fubo Labs is back out on the way. Patrick, that only cost them about four laps, but boy, was that a close call for Fubar Labs. Good job for the Fubar Labs pit crew assessing the issue and diving straight into it. That kind of pit crew is what wins races, folks. Diagnosing that issue and were able to address it has kept their leading car in the race. And now, with just 10 minutes to go, 10 minutes remaining, Fubar Labs will now nurse its car to first place. It's over 90 degrees, people, so congrats. Thank you out there for sitting out there in the heat with us. But you can only imagine how hot it is for our drivers who have been racing for 75 minutes. And we're winding down. Flavor Ice desperately trying to get more position. Both Patrick and I completely sweaty as all can be. Oh, and Flavor Ice getting really aggressive with the tires. A little too aggressive. That is not how we had the tires. I don't know. I don't think the grid's going to penalize. The, the grid is rearranging them to be more aggressive, I think. He, he, he's just putting them back where they are, where they go on. So right now, Lilo and Stitch holding on for second place. Hematite, Milwaukee Makers may oh. still in the pits. CCC Casey hitting the tire wall there. Patrick, Hematite might hold on. Patrick, the big question is, can Hematite get podium? Hematite's got third right now if they hold on. 
sand crawlers breathing down their neck. What's the lap difference for having to play the sand crawler at this point? It's five laps. So any, if anything happens to Hematite, that silver and rust colored car out there, Sandcrawler will overtake them and grab, grab the podium at the last yeah, moment. If for some reason the Hematite has to stop for about two minutes to do or something, they already had a flat tire about 35 minutes into this race. They fixed it and got back out. They've been having they a did. squeaking issue since about minute 10 of the 75 minutes. That race. Right left tire really wobbling. Their bearing is very angry. That bearing is on its last breath. But Patrick, it's really coming down to the wire here. You know, usually we see some of our best laps at the end of the race for some of the stronger teams, but honestly, this the weather's been so hot. You know, in fact, it looks like everybody's about at least three seconds a lap slower than when they started. That's right, Patrick. These cars are limping to the finish line. The, the weather has been absolutely torrential on them. A lot of these cars have cooling systems, but when those break, the motor's immediately overheat. Oh my god, I can't believe it, but it is blue out in space coming back out. They have been a lot of time in the pits. In fact, it was almost an hour they spent in the pits. Right there, everyone. Round of applause for the Thunder is coming back out. They want to finish this race. They spent a long time in the pits, but they're still determined to finish. And they just might. Oh, we're really running down the last moments here. That's right, just seven minutes left to go. The Milwaukee Makers race, the real tragedy of the event so far. They were his highest second place, and now Milwaukee, with that story, is all the way down at eight. Jeff Chase and Zip Times having just overtaken them for seven. But that is racing, folks. That's what happens in racing. Racing is not kind to teams. Racing is grueling, even in a tiny format. Something ridiculous as this, we have races that break out. Like, I don't know, sometimes we, we put enough laps down and our race breaks out. And we've been seeing that. The closeness of the battles have really been determined by the pits as well. The Hematite's pit stop really kept them ahead at the crucial time for Milwaukee Maker Space. And Sandcrawlers, even though they spent more time in the pits, has been masterful through managing traffic. Very few times have they collected the traffic. Despite the fact that they're a rolling brick. I mean, they're a giant box. We have cars that are smaller than that that get into the tire wall more than the sand crawler. Speaking of sand crawler, Moxie Boats, the Moxie Board out there, gets your final boats in. That's right, that Moxie Board, every single button press turns into points. Those points go towards the champion. And 5x5 five five timer is going in. Patrick, that team in Zip Ties can take sixth place right now. Oh no! Right there, it's up to the six ties. Up there's the zip ties up to six now. They moved that position, Kansas City, the last moments of the race. They were back and forth with the five by five tire, but they just rolled in the pits. So now Kansas City up one more position. But in the final moments of this race. Duct tape and zip ties still fighting its way through. Holding on. Meanwhile, Flavor Ice has made up one position. They have overtaken the Lego car. Absolutely amazing racing out here. Lilo and Stitch barely holding on in second. It looks like the curse has ended for second place. With just five minutes left. Patrick, if Hematite could just keep it together, they will get a third place. Five different cars have held on to second place. Every single one of them has fallen apart except for Lilo and Stitch. Their lap times are lower, but I do not see any issues with either of those cars right now. All they have to do is keep it together for the last few minutes. And it's been tense this whole time, each time. Each time we thought things would be calmer, the car would suddenly break, something would go wrong, a part would fail, a, they would hit a wall and it would snap something off and it cost them desperate minutes at the finish of the race. 
four minutes to go, just four minutes to go. Oh, I'm smelling more motor melting. That's right, the 555 time is back out much faster than Kansas City, but a few laps down. I don't know if there are enough minutes left to get them back. You no, know, uh, someone's going for broke, that's for sure. Yes, yeah, someone. Four minutes to go. Oh no, Patrick. I think it's Hematite. Oh no, Hematite. You had third. No, they still have it. We have it, but you're gonna lose it, I think, if you can't keep moving. Oh, it's just three minutes left. Hematite's really low on power. And three. the Sandcrawler, three it's wide down the stretch. It's just four laps away from getting them. Sandcrawler really has to book it. The Hematite is under power. They're losing power right now. I'm not sure what's happening. But now Sandcrawler's gonna make another lap on them. Just ramming the leader, trying to get through. And Sandcrawler says the leader that they're in fact winning and could probably hit the gas a little. Oh, Hematite pulling in, pulling in, third place and pulling in, which is three minutes to go. Now Sandcrawler really has to move. Sandcrawler has to go if they're going to get this. It's going to be down to the wire. I'm not sure who's going to get third now. It's going to be close. Uh, it's going to be close. Two minutes and 50 seconds now. That's enough time for Sandcrawler. Unbelievable, Patrick, with just minutes to go. Hematite, just there, there's nobody looking, nobody in the pits, they don't know what's going on, they're not sure. Unbelievable. That does not look like they know what's up, Patrick. I'm not sure what they're diagnosing, but it's unbelievable what's happening. And Sandcaller, it's just edging, just crawling its way to the finish line after falling all these positions. Sandcaller's now on the verge of getting back on podium. Sam Cole now on the same lap as Helotype. This time around, they're going to be passing them while they're stuck in pit. And the two minute warning. The Inthery Racing team is looking at the car and shaking their heads as the Sam Caller passes them in pit lane. Unbelievable. It. It's Sam Caller now moving up to third. Sam Caller from Omaha with the podium now, it looks like. Sam Caller is two minutes third. to go. Two minutes left. Anything could happen, Patrick, and it did. Sandcrawler now in third position. Hematite, after all that time, holding on to podium, just lost power. And look at its pit crew right now. I can't believe my eyes. They're just staring at their car in dismay. I, I don't even think they know what they can do at this point. It is just... Everyone give a round of applause for Hematite. It does look like it's over for them. I think it is. With only 90 seconds left, they're not going to be able to make it. What happened now? Something's grinding on Lego. All right, Patrick. That's this right. Coming by, we're going to have the white flag for Fubar Labs. I can't believe my eyes, though. Hematite. One minute left. One minute left. The moments boiling down. And the mile car in the middle of the track needs to get off the track if they can't run. Pull it off the right track, guys. There we go. 30 seconds. Wrap it all up. This is it. Fubar Labs, ladies and gentlemen, running around the clock. Just a few more seconds left now. I can't uh, believe Mario it. Mario Kart's got a lot of grinding. I don't know what it is. 15 seconds left. Patrick, Kubar Labs, after fighting everything they could, once again, the time is up, but everything's right. But Kubar Labs, the winner! The 75 minute endurance race in second place, joining the Lilo and Stitch. Third place, place, the Sandcrawler. The Sandcrawler, you gotta finish your lap there, Sandcrawler. Hematite in fourth. Unfortunately, stuck in the pits. Mario Kart from Pony Station won fifth. Duct tape and zip tie sixth. The 555 time is seventh. Duck was an eighth. Flavor X ninth. The Lego Kart tenth. Mario Kart eleventh. Blue on Space twelfth. The Fire Truck fifteenth. And the Burger Kart fourteenth. Hey guys, can I get my winners up here? Fubar, Lilo and Stitch, and a Sandcrawler. Can I get the Sandcrawler up here? Lilo and Stitch, get your cards here for the Come on, let's get it. 
Get you guys in the start finish line here. First, second, and third lining up over here. Present some medals now. It's the end of the weekend. We have Fubar Sandcaller and Lilo and Stitch. Scott, can I get Lilo and Stitch? Second and third, get on out here. Bring the car out, guys. Let's still bring it over. Bring it over, Scott. Where are you going? You got a podium here. Get your podium. I don't care if you have to push it. Just get it out of here. You want your medal? You want medals? Because that's how you get medals. You go on podium. Where's the sand car? I get that out of here too. Oh, they got R2 D2 with them. Oh, they got they went back and got R2. Sand car, third place pulling right over here. That's second right there. You can go here. Either one's fine. We'll stagger. There we go. There we go. Alright, where's Lilo? Lilo's coming out. I think Rizzo Racing is shocked that their Lilo and Stitch car is the second place and not Flavor Ice after this weekend. No, it was not going to be that way. No, it's not. Alright, Patrick, as they roll in, why don't we get some medals out? As we right. present. For the endurance race. Alright. For coming in third from Rizzo Racing. In Fort Wayne, Indiana, is Lilo and Stitch. Oh, sorry, the second? Yeah, second place. Oh, sorry, place. second place. Yeah, Sandcaller just got third. Sorry, sorry Sandcaller with third place. There we go. I'm sorry, I didn't have this one. There we go. Can you tell the sun's gotten to us yet? Okay. Sorry, second oh. place is Lilo and Stitch with a silver okay. <laughs> and the golden yes. Goes to Fubar from New Jersey. Oh, look at my face. All right, guys. All right, how about some confetti, guys? Right? All right, ready your cameras, all right? Three, two, one. You gotta aim up. Who's got another one? Got to aim upwards. Three, oh. two, one. <laughs> Why are you so bad at this? <laughs> it's good enough. It's good enough. You gotta be for us, it's good enough. For us, it's fantastic, actually. <laughs> there we go. All right, one more round of applause for our third, set, first, second, and third. Woo! All right, absolutely amazing. Two our laps. Two our laps. You spent many years getting to this position, and now you are definitely in contention for the title. How's that feel? You know, it feels really good. We've been working really hard. Our team's been coming together really well. The car's been working. You can see the, the results in the pits. We just switch change drivers and solve problems fast. It's been a long road to get here. So we're looking forward to Detroit, although Phantom Race is going to be there, and Cartastrophe is going to be there, so it's going to be a little different, a little, a little different experience. Well, if you're going to bring it to the challenge, you've definitely been logging the experience points now. Second place, first time out for this team. This is a brand new team. Second, how do you feel about that? You definitely won against Dad. How does that feel? Well, congratulations on that. Your first weekend out and second place in the endurance race is definitely a fantastic finish. And third place for Sandcrawler. Did you honestly think you would get back on the podium after what happened? But, you know, we, we were really concerned, but uh, really appreciate the other team helping us out, helping us get us back on the track. You know, it's, it's all about teamwork. That's right. The teamwork really helped out with Sandcaller. They had so many issues. How does third place feel? Well, one last round of applause for them. Good job, Sandcaller, and good job to everyone else out there. Let's see if I get one last word for him. It's like fourth place. Not necessarily the best, but definitely. Better than, better than the vast majority. See if we found out what went wrong with them. Yep. As Patrick gets the last Moxie votes in, the final Moxie votes. Hematite, what happened? Uh, batteries died. It was just batteries. The only thing said of it was batteries. He only had two sets, and the second set wasn't charging. 